Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to be looking at finding the median value of data. So once again, just like in our previous video about finding the mean, we're going to be looking at our foot length in centimeter data. So we, we know that the median is the middle value. So middle in this case implies that our data needs to be in numerical order. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do with this data is I'm going to put it in least to greatest order. So I'm going to scan through and find my smallest value, which is 17, and I'm going to write that one down first. I'm then going to continue until I have all my data in order. The next largest value I see is 21. After 21, looks like the next one is 24. After 24, I have one, two, three, four copies of 25. So I'm going to write that four times. All right, after that, I've got 28 is next in line, then 29, then 30. Okay, first step done. Now that we've got our data in numerical order, we want to count in from either side until we reach the center. So I'm going to go ahead and start crossing one off from each side. So I've got my largest and my smallest crossed off. I'm going to continue that until I reach the center. Now notice if I were to cross out my next two, I would be left with nothing. That is because I have an even number of data values. In that case, I'm going to take the two center data values and find their average. So in this case, that's going to be 25 plus 25 divided by 2, which is, of course, just 25. So in this case, my median data value is 25. If we have an odd number of data points, let's say we had had one more data value making it 11, then when we cross off one value from the end and the center or the, the beginning and the end each time, we will actually end up with one value left in the center. In that case, that value is the median. All right, guys, that does it for this example. We'll catch you in the next one.